Hello friends, welcome back to our channel UiPath Bots. In this video, we are going to learn about OCR input and output methods. Okay, so before going to this video, I request you to please do subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon and select all option for our next video notifications. Also, if you like these videos, please do share with your friends and colleagues. Okay, let's see what this OCR input and output method methods. OCR means optical character recognition. Okay. The main use of this OCR is to recognize to work to automate based on the optical character recognition technology what is the use of this when when this uh, comes into picture is there will be a situation like uh, uh, say for example when we uh, take any application sometimes the if, if we see this it is getting highlighted right it, that means the ui elements are getting recognized but there will be times where uh, when, there, uh, when the UI elements are not being recognized. Few applications may not uh, enable the UI elements public to all the external uh, tools. Say for example, when we are automating an, uh, a process using a browser in UiPath Studio, Studio may not get the access to recognize the UI elements in the browser say for example Citrix or in uh, virtual environments so when there is a need to automate the process using an application so I'll give in a, a shortcut when there is a need to work with UI elements which are not recognized. For example, Citrix or what is the other one? Say virtual environment. We need OCR to recognize. Okay. We use OCR methods to recognize the UI elements in search Citrix and virtual environments, environments or applications, whatever it might be. Okay. So now let us see, let us have one uh, simple practice session. So let us use uh, Google search. To get some data. Increase uh, weather today. Right? So now I'll be opening a Google search. Now let us go to our demo. Create a sequence. Let us have a sequence. Let's see our input output. Make the sequence. Okay. Now, let us uh, imagine that the Google search is not, uh, we are not able to recognize the UI elements in this Google page. So, first we are supposed to attach to the window. Let us use attach to this browser. Now, since that I'm not able to recognize this label, I'm going to extract this using image exist. I'm searching for the image. Okay. I'm going to grab from the screen. See? 
because I am confident enough that this Google search will be all, always there. So this will provide you a Boolean output whether it is existing or not. Create a variable bool image. Okay. So let us change the scope of this. Select. Now let us have an if condition. Let us use an if condition. Add else. Okay. Uh, I'll be checking for the boolean image if this is existing I'll be adding a message right line saying image is existing search button image exists if not let us use the same right right line say google search option google search button does not exist let us test until here we have this yes now let us test this run this file Go back let us see the output search button image exists right so now what we are supposed to do in the then block this block we are supposed to type something we are supposed to type here right so to recognize this ultimately OCR we will be using to recognize the elements when the UI elements are not automatically recognized right so for this we are going to use our native recording okay go to native native citrix right and then since we are confident enough that google search will be here we are just uh, recognizing i mean uh, grabbing this particular area which is near to google search so for that let us use the mouse click and then I'm go going to use this Google search. Okay. So here let us select this distract OCR. Next in search I'm going to search for Google search. Now right then refresh. Superb. So we are able to get this okay the result review now now we are supposed to indicate on the search bar so here use the set mouse position then see here it says indicate a point we can indicate some point here then finish okay it will capture the activities into our code okay since this been uh, copied into the else block just move this to then block right now we have attached browser because this is already there in the attached browser let us remove this attached browser so i'm just moving this particular block piece of code into outside of attached browser and i'm just deleting this because this is duplicate one now we have search and test factors now what we are uh, supposed to do we have identified this now we are supposed to something here right so let us give that type into activity here use type into activity 
right and then click give uh, what we are supposed to use we or we want countries weather today right so we can ask for usa weather today okay so just save it now let us run this and see how it works Superb. Now let us go back to this. See, now what what we forgot? We are supposed to click on the search icon, right? Again, we are supposed to after typing this, we are supposed to click on the Google search. Now let us do that as well. Where is the sequence? So after entering the data, we are supposed to use click activity. Where is click? Yes. Now let us run it again, save it and then run it, you see whether today clicking on search. Now let us go back to our, this one, USA weather today map. From where this map came, let us run it again. Superb. Now, let me check. Perfect. This is fine. I hope you got this clear information on OCR input methods. When we are going to use this, when we are unable to find the UI elements, we are supposed to use this OCR input and output methods if you are working for a Citrix application or in virtual environments and we completed a demo session to please practice along with me so that you will never forget about this so meet you through our next videos till then happy learning and happy automation thank you so much bye bye